What's going on, lawn care community? Cameron here with the Lawn Care Life of Missouri. Hey, today is Father's Day, and I thought, hey, what better way to celebrate Father's Day than to have a special guest come by, hang out with us, and talk to us a little bit about what dads might do or might say after running the Toro Titan. So, cousin Chris is here. He's gonna take it away and uh, talk to you guys about the all new 2020 Toro Titan and what dads might say after running this machine. Hey, Cousin Chris, take it away, man. Thanks a lot, Cameron. I appreciate you having me over today. Um, appreciate that a lot. Today is Father's Day, so I thought I would swing by here and I would uh, I just tell you what, what I think of the Toro Titan being a dad, you know, um, I'm always out having to mow the lawn. The kids are out playing or, or tearing, you know, tearing up, no telling what, but I'm always the one out cutting the grass, so I thought I'd just show you guys what I thought, uh, being a dad of the uh, of the Toro Titan. Now, I've cut a lot of grass in my day, but I tell you what, this Toro Titan is, is the best mower I've ever ran so far. Uh, you know, I had that 93 Murray for so many years, and, and, and I finally thought it was time to, to do an upgrade, so I've been trying out the Toro Titan, and I really think you guys would really like it. I mean... That 93 Murray, it would it would spit and sputter a little bit and it get the job done, you know, but this Toro Titan is just so smooth. Such a smooth ride. I mean it it's got this system on it, this I ride my Cameron is it is it it's a my ride system. It's got this my ride system on it and I tell you it's so smooth it it'll put you to sleep. You ain't careful. Now my old Murray mower uh, about a 93 model my old Murray mower had an 18 horse uh, power engine on it and I tell you what that thing was strong I mean it cut anything see this hay field behind me you just smoother on down slicker on down but uh, I tell you what this Toro got a 24 and a half horsepower engine Toro engine it's a commercial v-twin but I tell you it's 24 and a half horsepower it feels like about 30 I mean that thing right there will knock through some grass I'm telling you it's uh if you're a dad out there and needing a mower, I guarantee you this thing will get the job done. I mean, this thing is solid. See how solid that is? See how, look at this deck. That deck is solid. See how solid that is? You couldn't do that on the old Murray. It just, it'd probably bend on you, really. But you can step right on this thing. I mean, it is super comfortable. I had some sweet tea over here. I'd probably just cruise around mowing. I tell you, I might mow all night long. It's just a comfortable ride. Hey, kids, y'all pick up the toys. Hey, if you kids don't pick up those toys, I'm gonna mulch them over with the mower. You better pick them up. Yeah, Cameron, I mowed all that with this Toro Titan. Took me 23 minutes. I tell you, that's six minutes faster than last time. I think the next time around, I can even do it quicker. I think so. Oh yeah, I got a deal on it. I got a real good deal. Went down to my Toro dealer and gave me a real good deal on it. 54 inches. My last mower was 52 inches. That's two more inches. Makes a world of difference. I mean, look at that, 54 inches. Can you believe that? That's two more inches. Can you tell how much wider that deck is? It's a lot wider. It's two more inches wider. It makes a world of difference. Now, Toro has a whole lot of different mowers, but this one is called the Titan. You see that? It's called the Titan. It's the Titan mower. Real nice mower. Hey, Cameron, you know how that old mower was real hard to start? Check this one out. Oh, hold on. Got to put that parking brake on. I forget it every time. And it sounds so good. Well, it's Saturday, and uh, you know what that means. Time to get the mower out. Time to cut the grass. I'm going to spend a few hours out here just listening to some music, cutting the grass, and just uh, enjoying the outdoors. What do you mean, can it mow that tall grass over there? Let's check it out.
I can't believe Cameron doesn't think that this toy old Titan will mow this tall grass. What is he thinking? Look at this grass. I think that toy old Titan will move through it. Now you may have to go over it a couple of times, at least twice probably. You're going to probably knock it down though. Now on the old mowers, they had that hard plastic, you know, discharge chute. Every any time I get a close to something, I'd end up hitting it. It'd break, and then I wouldn't have a shoot. And I'd throw the grass all in the wife's flower bed, and she'd get mad at me. And you know how that goes. But this one has a rubber. It has a rubber discharge chute, so you can pull it back and push it down. And I don't think you're gonna break it off, so it'll protect all that. It won't throw the grass clippings into the flower bed. Your wife won't get mad at you, and you'll be able to sleep good at night. Okay, I'll fire up the grill. I'm just finishing up mowing. Give me a minute or two. Come on. Good night. This grass isn't going to cut itself. Now, one of my favorite features of this Toro Titan, and that is the foot deck lift. You just put your foot on there. Be able to push that deck up and down. Now, you take the pin out for the deck. Look at that. Able to lower that deck all the way down to the ground. Able to lower that deck all the way down to the ground. You push that deck lift back up. Look there. Your deck's all the way up. Put your pin back in. You're good to go. So if you're out there mowing and you see a water hose like here in front of me, I will run that thing over. But with this, I can lift that deck up and down. Glide across it. Keep on cutting that grass. Now this My Rise suspension system and this seat, Super comfy. It's co more comfy than my recliner at the house. You know, I, it's like sitting down watching TV, flipping through the channels, you know. you just rocking back and forth like a baby on this thing. It's really comfortable, really nice, and uh, I think you guys will really like it. It'll be like sitting in your recliner there at the house. Except instead of watching TV, you'll be watching the great outdoors, which I really like. How often do I sharpen my blade? Are you kidding me? I sharpen these blades after every single time I get done mowing. Those blades stay razor sharp. Those blades cut through that grass like a knife through hot butter. I'm telling you what. Now you see that corner back yonder behind me? Way out in the back 40. Now I thought I had plenty of gas the other day and I was out mowing and I thought you know what? I ain't gonna worry about it. I ain't gonna fuel up the mower. I'm just gonna keep on mowing. I got a little bit more to knock out. You know, it'd be fine. Yeah. I got all the way back in the property there, and I guarantee it. What happened was I ran out of fuel. You know, I opened this fuel cap up and looked. I didn't see any fuel in there. So, I had to walk from the back of the property all the way back up here to the truck, get the gas can, fill her up. So, guys, don't try to be too macho out there. If you're a little low on gas, park the mower, fill it up. Oh yeah, on this Toro Titan My Ride suspension system, you got the dual shocks, you got the dual exhaust. I mean, you got the dual, you got the dual dual, and you know, right here in the back, you got these springs, these shocks. You can adjust them, adjust them however you want that ride. Right now, I got it on number two, and it is so smooth. I mean, the first time I brought the Toro Titan home, I called up all my buddies, all my friends, all my cousins, my relatives. I called people I didn't even know, and I said, would you just look at it? I said, I called my wife. I said, my wife, come over here. And I said, hey, would you just look at it? I mean, just look at it. My ride suspension system, just look at it. The Toro Titan, would you just look at it? I mean, would you just look at it? Just look at it. Yeah. Okay. All right, bye-bye. That was my wife. She called and said, supper's ready. She said, if I don't get off this mower, she's not gonna reheat that supper one time. Guess I'll eat a cold supper. So there you have it, there is Cousin Chris 
laying it down like it is. Um, man, I've known this guy for a really, really long time. He's a great dad, got two little girls at home. Um, he's a conservation agent. He also runs a lawn care business on the side, has the Skag V-Ride, that's what he runs. But uh, more importantly, he's a huge supporter of me, the lawn care community, and this YouTube uh, channel. So, Cousin Chris, thanks for swinging by, man. If you guys wanna see Cousin Chris again, and if you want him to, uh, to hang out with us more and be in the videos, drop a comment below, let us know what you think. But uh, anyways, guys, I appreciate you so much for checking out this video. Let me know what you think. If you're a dad, first of all, happy Father's Day. And second, if you're a dad, drop a comment below or maybe your dad did this to you. Uh, just drop some comments below. Let me know what dad used to say while you were a kid and you were out cutting the grass or maybe he was cutting the grass and, and you know he wanted you out there with him or whatever. Just drop a comment below. Share one of your uh, stories or memories of dad out there doing the lawn care work or maybe you were doing the lawn care work and dad's sitting there saying hey you missed a spot over there just drop us some comments below let me know what you guys think and uh, let's hear your stories guys all right i'm out from now i'm cameron with the lawn care life in missouri thanks again for watching i appreciate it i hope you guys have a great day and as always hey god provides